We're back at 827, and brace yourselves, we might scare you here a little bit. Zombie movies seem to be all the rage these days, from the hit shows like Walking Dead to the features like Zombieland or Warm Bodies. Well, now, a local female filmmaker has done a zombie comedy due out this fall, and she is using Kickstarter to try and get it in theaters. It's called A Zombie Named Ted, and joining us now is Ann Wells from Fairfax, right here, a local gal. Thanks for coming in, and thank you for bringing... Um, a friend, should I say? Yes. Yeah, she's a friend. I am Anna. Anna. And I'm from Sweden. Okay. Would you like some Not food? exactly. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and so let's talk about this. It's a comedy zombie movie. That is yes. not something you see very often. That's right. It's Usually these are in, intended to scare. Yes. Well, this one also will scare you, hopefully. Okay. It's a comedy horror. Okay. So it's, um, it's got a little bit of both. So, a little bit like uh, Shaun of the Dead. Okay, I was going to say, a kind thing. of a scary movie type yes. thing? Okay. Yes. And so it's called A Zombie Named Ted. Yes. What can you tell us about the plot? The, well, it's about a, a guy named Ted um, who is a zombie but doesn't know it. So he's a zombie in denial. Oh, he's not aware. No, he's unaware. Some very well-meaning voodoo priests when he was on vacation turned him into a zombie okay and um he was not aware of that until he came back and thought he had a skin condition um okay so, so they, they look a little bit like anna over he, here yeah a little bit a like little bit you could use some sun or had seen too much sun <laughs> yeah my name yeah. is anna and i'm from sweden <laughs> her book, her uh, Vocabulary is quite extensive over yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so then, uh, as you continue in the plot of this movie, is he trying to figure out how he can become a non-zombie? He, he, he does. He has to sort of come to terms with, you know, the fact that he's a zombie. Okay. And he actually falls in love with a woman who is a vampire in denial also. Oh, wow. She well, has a similar okay. thing happen to her. Two peas in a pod. They're two peas in a pod. So they fall in love um, in therapy. Okay. And actually, therapy. Anna is one of the patients in therapy. Oh, I, can, mm -hmm. I might could see why. Yeah, yeah, I she feel. needs a little help. Mm -hmm. She needs a little help. Okay, so you've got the script written on this, and now oh, we're yeah. working to get it in theaters, get shooting underway, and you're um, yeah. aiming for November? We're aiming to shoot in November, which means we'll have a release date um, of sometime in the spring okay. um, or summer, because it takes a long time to edit a movie uh -huh. um, and do all the other things that have to be done after a movie is shot. So we have everything. We are we have everything in place to shoot. We have our producers on the ground, okay. um, both here and in LA. I was going to say, so you're local. I mean, you're from Fairfax. Are you hoping to utilize our area for some of the shooting? We are going to do a little bit of shooting here. We're going to do a lot of the shooting in Hollywood, and okay. um, just because the infrastructure is sort of set up for that there for okay. a lot of what we're doing, and then um, and then some of it will be shot here locally in the the DC, Northern Virginia. Southern Maryland area. Uh, we so. mentioned earlier how popular, you know, The Walking Dead, Zombieland, all mm. the this genre um, of movies and TV shows uh, is. Why do you think that is? It seems like it all of a sudden has become really hip in yeah. pop culture. There's something about zombies, I think maybe because, you know, they're originally human beings. Okay. I think there's something about that that okay. we really like, and there's something that's very scary mm. about human beings that could, you know, die and come back and eat their I friends. <laughs> you know? um, so, yeah, I think it's kind of, you know, there's something fascinating about it. It doesn't, I mean, the, the genre has been around for so it long. It has, yeah. And it All of a sudden, a resurgence, away. though. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so uh, you have a $20,000 goal of uh, raising money on your Kickstarter fund. It's actually $10,000 on oh, that 10, Kickstarter. Okay. Yes, and we'd love to have people go to that. Please go to it. You go to Kickstarter com and search a zombie named Ted and you'll find more information about it there and um, yeah so we're raising money we're also looking for business partners um, okay. you know as part of our capital raise also and um, yeah and all right yeah. great thanks for coming in it's a zombie named Ted and thank you very much best of luck thank to you. you we can't wait for it to come out in theaters Anna thank you. you can keep that strudel to yourself my lady <laughs> Larry, I think she's got a little something sweet for you over here. Yeah, she's going to offer it to me, and I'm like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm Anna. Anna, how are you? Do you like some food? No, I'm, I'm trying to cut back. Thank you. That's all right.